My name is Wen Shen Huang. Uh, I'm a researcher at the NASA Gwen Research Center. The main thing that I do research in are uh, hall thrusters and uh, plasma diagnostics for hall thrusters. We have a push to go to ever higher power hall thrusters so that we can use them to uh, take humans to different places in the solar system. It really comes down to the cost and the simplicity of building a hull thruster. It has a lot fewer parts, and the parts don't have to be built in such a precise manner as compared to, say, an ion thruster. In exchange, the physics of a hull thruster is more complicated, so you need to have done more research on it to better understand how it actually works. Well, we start with uh, the name Hall Effect. Uh, what, it, what that refers to is that when you have an electric field and a magnetic field arranged in a certain fashion, you can trap electrons. And the things about electron is, once they're trapped, they're very good at ionizing neutral gas. What a plasma is, is basically your run-of-the-mill gaseous material that's been ionized. They've been hit by these electrons and turned into ions. Once a material acquires electrical charge, you can accelerate it using an electric field to very high velocity, and that's how you move yourself forward. The Gateway Project is basically part of the uh, program Artemis, which is supposed to return human presence to the moon. It's going to host the most powerful hull thruster to ever fly in space, and so we want to understand what is the energy, the density of that plasma that's coming out, and predict, be able to predict the erosion. And that is the job of the plasma diagnostics package. Once we get data back from this uh, plasma diagnostics package, the first thing that we're going to do is compare it to ground data that we will already have taken with the same thruster uh, in the same relative location. And that will tell us uh, what the difference is between the thruster's operation in space versus on orbit. If need be, we will inform the operators if uh, they need to make changes in order to avoid uh, too much erosion on different parts of the spacecraft. The power and propulsion element is slated to launch in uh, 2022. It will be the first thruster that I actually worked on that has flown. First time you're something that you work on goes to space, that's always exciting for anybody. With the exception of the ocean, we're about uh, maxed out on all the things that we have explored and can explore. Anything that we can do, to get us out there and see these new things, we should be doing that. What excites me about my research right now is it is one of those things that gets people out there and looking at new things.